everybody, welcome to another um, tu guitar tutorial. Today we're going to learn Wonderwall um, by Oasis. Uh, it seems fitting that every guitarist has to be able to play um, Wonderwall, so every guitar tutor, tutor should have to uh, teach it as well. So um, here we go. Uh, we start on, we start with our capo on threat two. Um, now, the the beginning of the song is um, the the main riff of the song. It's quite easy. It's all, it's all based. It's almost like you're playing a, a G chord all the way through. Uh, these two fingers here are on the bottom string E and uh, B and they pretty much don't move for the majority of the song. Now the first chord is an E minor 7. So basically you've got your E minor there and you've got your two fingers there. Then he goes up to a G chord. Then he goes to a, a D sus Four. I'm, I'm reading this off a uh, guitar. <laughs> I know how to play it, but I don't know the name of the course, so I'm reading this off a uh, guitar, um, ultimateguitar.com. So that's why I'm this, on this video, I'm, I'm telling you the names of the chords, sounding like I know them. I won't like, I don't know the names of the chords, so it's fine. Um, so the next chord is um, a D sus four. So once again, these fingers haven't moved, and this finger here is going to. Um, Threat two G, um, threat two G. Um, obviously, that's according to the capo. Uh, otherwise, that would be threat four G. Um, but with the capo, I'm going to say threat two G. Then it's um, apparently it's um, an A seven sus four, which is no longer that there, I'm just going to put my finger there instead. And the reason why I'm putting that finger there, rather than just moving that finger up, is because the next chord, and what you're always thinking about the, the next chord, is the first chord again, which means my fingers go back there. So I'm pretty much, I'm, as the chords go by, I'm climbing up the strings. Like that, see? Ba, ba, ba. Like that. So. While you're playing the tune, um, I like to um, just just mute. I, I don't know what that's called, but just every now and again, just take my fingers off and just mute the sound a bit as I'm going on. That's what Noel does in in um, in the recording. But if if you don't want to do it or don't believe that, you can just play it without doing that at all. That's fine. Right. Um, something to tell you. This only happens once in this whole song. Uh, it's got two days, gonna be dead, nothing back to you. By now, we should somehow realize the way I do. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do. And this beer, when he says, I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now, you go to a C chord. That's instead of the first chord, and you just do the same progression again. time in the song where that C chord is used at that point. In the next verse, the next time he says, I don't believe, he doesn't do that. Um, so if you want to play and be true to the song, you only do that once in the whole song. Um, right, so that goes around. So it's a bit like a, it's a bit like you're going around. So there, 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 there. It's like a circle going around like that. 
Um, okay, so the next bit is the bridge. And all the words we have to walk a winding. All the lights we leave there are blind. So, it starts with a C. So that chord there, that second chord, let me try and find, let me try and find what it's called. Um, and all the roads. That should be a D, according to ultimateguitar.com, that's a D. Mm -hmm. I don't believe it's a D, so I'm going to show you what my chord is. So, um, it's a C, and that is the chord I play. So that, both them two fingers, like always in the song, are on them two strings there, the E and the, um, the B on the third fret, and this finger is on uh, G2, which, you know, if if we take away that finger and add that finger, yeah, that is that is a D chord there, but that is a chord I play. Them two there on them two strings and that one on the first string. Okay. And the way I do it, I go. I do that kind of strum, but I take my I take my finger off the E string. First chord in the thing. See there, on this it just says E minor again. That's that's not right. I learned this from the official um, CD run from Oasis whenever it was released. So I'm right. That's wrong. And on that chord, I do that little mute thing again. It looks like it is. There are many things that I would like. G chord. Now here it says G5. I don't know if that's a G5 or not, but basically my fingers are going from a normal G there to that, this finger, not that finger, take it away, that finger there on the um, E2. Back to the original first chord. say that is what do they say that is that is um, an E minor 7 slash B <laughs> I don't know And that 
chord that I told you about earlier. It's that chord again. So if you can see my fingers there, them two on the bottom two on the first fret, and this one on the G on the second. So C. First chord, G again, that chord. That's the hardest bit, that is the hardest bit of the song right there. Um, there's no two ways about that. Once you've got that mastered, the rest of the song is a piece of piss. So it's um Experienced people of the world um, who don't know much about Oasis um, then play the normal riff for the chorus. So maybe be the one that, saves me. that is not the riff that they play. It's a C. So maybe to the first chord, to a G, to the first chord, to a C. Then maybe you're the one that saves me. And after all, you know I'm after all. Play ring, pause for a sec, and you go back down to our funny little chord again. course again and then you fade out um, and that is as easy as Wonderwall on the guitarist. Uh, thank you very much for listening. I hope this helped. If you wanted to learn it, I hope um, my tutorials helped you learn this tune better. Thank you very much for watching. If you look there, uh, there's a, there should be somewhere where you can subscribe to my page for more videos like this and if you look there you should find a video where you can uh, see another tutorial on something I've done. Thank you very much for listening and see you soon.